Hey guys, welcome back to another Lipstick Swatch video. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. For those of you who have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. Today's video, I have another lip set. This time it's from Tarte. So it is the Tarte Poolside Pout Lip Trio. So this is what it looks like and then it comes with a lipstick, um, a lip balm and a lip gloss. So it's a beautifully curated set of the different lip products from Tarte. So you do kind of get a little bit of everything to sample with the set. Uh, so if it's the first time or you're looking to try something from Tarte, something like this would be perfect for yourself. So we're going to go ahead and get this open. And I am not new to Tarte. It is actually one of my favorite brands because they are cruelty free and vegan as well. And their products are really awesome. They do deliver and I always find myself going back to Tarte. So this is what the three lip products look like. You have the lip gloss, the lipstick, and a lip balm. And how beautiful is the packaging? Oh my gosh. The packaging is always so cute. Everything from Tarte is always so beautifully made that you don't even want to use it. So what I am going to start with here, I think I want to do the lip balm first. And this is in the shade Nude. So this has some... Um, seashells on the packaging and then the top just comes off like so oh I think I just nicked it there and let's see how much product actually comes in this so that's a pretty decent amount and like I said this is in the shade nude so yeah I think it's um a pretty good amount for a lip balm I'm just going to apply this to my lips. They're just as I remembered. And I know it's just a lip balm, but to me, Tarte's lip balms, they are so hydrating and they smell so good. This one has like a minty scent to it which is just so refreshing. And this is how the nude lip balm swatches on me. It's simple, it's just a clear lip balm, but I really do like them because the quality is definitely there. This lip gloss feels so good, I don't even want to take it off, but I'll just kinda dab my lips a little bit just to take off the excess because then we're going to jump right into the next one which is the lip gloss that I want to do and the lip gloss is in the shade hang 10 and what I love about these is like a three dimensional uh, lid here so you actually feel the water droplets on the lid on the top of it which is pretty neat I think that's really unique with Tarte and I'm gonna give you a hand swatch here of this color so it's more I would say a pinky nude color and we're just gonna go ahead and swatch this on the lips Their doe foot applicator is really nice as well. It helps to really get around the contours of the lips. And I think it do holds enough product where you don't have to constantly dip back in the tube to get more. So that's definitely a good thing. So this is what the lip gloss is looking like on me right now. It's not 
it's really not as pigmented i think it's just a subtle lip gloss just to give your lips a little bit more color if you want you can certainly put other layers on your lips but i don't like my lips to feel um too heavy with lip gloss so normally i try to reduce the layers of lip gloss just because it it can start to collect and look all gunky and nasty so we don't want to go down that road so what i normally do is just use one one layer of lip gloss and the good thing about tarte is that their lip glosses are so hydrating but they're not particularly as pigmented you can certainly use this on its own or you can use it as a topper over another lipstick Either way, you're still gonna get a good result. And like I said, if you're not into that pigmented of a lip color, these will work perfectly for you. And as far as the stickiness, like I say time and time again, lip glosses are going to be sticky. Some are just stickier than others. There, there are levels to stickiness, okay? So if you do that, your hair is definitely gonna stick on it. So just be mindful of that i don't think there's any lip gloss that's completely non-sticky i don't think that exists if you know that there's one you leave a comment in the comment section below because i definitely want to know which lip gloss that is so yeah this is what it looks like there's nothing really unique about it it's simple it's something you can wear on a daily basis from your nine to five to the club to wherever you go after work it's one of those wear everywhere lip glosses so I like it and I will definitely be keeping this one around. Okay, so next up we have the lipstick. Lastly, but not leastly, we have the lipstick and this is in the shade Beach Babe there is not a packaging that's more beautiful love that marble look that it has with that turquoise and the gold all right so this is the shade beach babe and i'll give you a hand swatch here well it's similar to the lip gloss it's this i would say it's the same shade as the lip gloss some of that pinkish nudish tones going on there huh now this color i am not sure about Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. This is giving me, this is giving me casket ready real quick. It's making my lips look super ashy right now. I am not liking this color. I'm just gonna say the obvious. I am gonna need to wear a lip liner with this. This is not gonna cut it. <laughs> I think the lip gloss was fine, but this color is just not complimenting me in any way shape or form so i am gonna have to do something to define this color and make it work for me so if you're a lighter skin tone you can certainly pull this off and if you're even a darker shade than i am it might look even worse let's just let's just put it out there it might look it's very likely that it will look worse than it does on me so you should be able to gauge, you know, whether this color will work for you or not. I can see that it will definitely complement lighter skin tones as opposed to darker skin tones. Not that it can't work with darker skin tones, you just have to work a little harder, wear a darker lip liner, and then you can pull it off. But this is what it looks like, not my favorite. Is it an absolute no for me? No, that just means that I have to work a little harder though so it can work for me. And I probably wouldn't want to do that, especially if I'm running late. But for now, I am just going to pass on this one. Wow. 
What I would also like to try right now is the lip gloss over this lipstick just to see what that would look like. Maybe it'll change my mind about this lipstick if the lip gloss works. Well, it does darken it up a little bit. Maybe that's a stretch, but. Hmm. It's not as dark as I would like it to be, so the lip gloss doesn't help that much. Maybe a little bit, but it's like not that much, obviously. But anyways, that was the Poolside Pout Lip Trio from Tarte. And I hope you guys will be able to make a better decision if this will work for you or not. I mean, Tarte is a very good brand. I find their products to be really hydrated. I think they're known more for their hydration more than their pigment, I would say. Because majority of the Tarte lipsticks that I have, I don't find them to be, I don't find them to be too pigmented. And also when it comes to the wear time, I think it's, it's very short-lived, you would have to reapply them. So to me, they are mostly known for their hydration and that's what I mostly wear Tarte for. I wear Tarte for the hydration that it provides because I find that their hydration outlasts the wear time of the lipstick. So if you're someone who's concerned more about you know, your lips being hydrated and moisturized more than pigmentation, then I think Tarte would be an excellent choice for you. And this is a great place to start. Start with the minis and work your way up from there and then you can decide if you like it or not. So, but that's all I got for you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell because like I always say, I don't know how else you're gonna know when I post a video if you don't click the notification bell. You are just going to have to miss out and ask your friend or your neighbor because there is no other way for me to let you know when I post a video. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye!